you guys welcome back to my channel my name is Caitlin for those of you that are new here and if you're not welcome back thank you so much for being here today in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you a second part to the series of mellow morning movement super gentle yoga practice gentle stretching great way to start your morning and prepare for the day ahead if you'd like to practice with me today then just keep watching a little coffee first hmm. Cheers. So we'll start this morning's practice in a comfortable seat. I'm taking Dhyana Mudra. Bring the right palm to rest in your left and the thumbs connect. Looping the energy. And the right hand is representing your truth and the left hand is representing the ego. Start to notice the breath. Deepening your inhale. Lengthening your exhale. And we'll take the fingers to the jawline, give a little self massage, releasing any unnecessary gripping or tension. Small circular motions. And gentle pressure, nothing too intense. Bring the backs of the hands to take rest on the thighs, natural curl through 10 fingers. Sitting tall, feeling the length upwards through the crown of your head. Placing your left hand on your heart, your right hand on your belly. Feel that you are breathing. Soft face. Easy eyes and brows. And take a deep bow of your chin towards your chest. Relax your hands. If you're A-OK -okay with your seat, sustain as you are. If you need to make a change, switch out your shapes. And then dropping your left ear over towards your left shoulder. Feel length move through the right side of the neck. Option to float your left hand up and bring that to the right side of the skull. Find an extension out through your five right fingers. Option to take a bind, wrapping the right arm across the low back. Still maintaining the depth of your inhale, length of your exhale. Your inhale, crown of the head through center and with the exhale, left ear over to the left shoulder. Right forearm wraps across the low back. No forcing, no tugging, just lengthening. With your inhale, upward arms, and with your exhale, release fingertips to the mat, chin towards chest. Inhale, sweep high, look up. Exhale, sweep low, fingertips to mat, chin to chest. Inhale, lengthen, lift. Exhale, lower, fingertips and head. With your inhale, guide your right arm high, half cow face pose. Your left hand pulls the right elbow into center line. You might choose to stay right here or extend the left arm out, left thumb down. Full expression, the hands can rest on clothing or the back or take a bind, right fingertips, catch your left. For me, I like to press the head into the right forearm and I find a little more opening through my right shoulder. Wherever you feel stretch and sensation is perfect, nothing is jarring or painful in your body. Inhale, upward arms. And then bend into your left elbow, right hand assists. You might stay right here. If you'd like full expression, right arm out. Super important, dial your right thumb down, then bend your right elbow. Let your hands rest on the back body or take a bind. Left fingertips, find your right. If it felt good on that first side, press the skull into the left forearm. Find the breath, deepen, inhale, lengthen, exhale. Inhale, upward arms. 
Exhale, lower the hands. Inhale, sweep it high, gaze is up. Exhale, flip the hands, lower chin to chest. Inhale, high. Palms can touch and exhale, low. Again, if you feel A-OK -okay with your seat, sustain. If you need to change it out or switch anything, go for it. Hands rest on your kneecaps as you breathe in, cow pose, heart forward. With your exhale, cat pose, round your spine, and your hands are cupping the knees. Inhale, open front line. Exhale, round your back and open it up. Your rhythm, your pace, inhale, open from base of chin to low belly, and the exhale rounds out the back body. If there's any which way that you can move to make your seated cat cow feel better, self-explore. How does it feel to breathe with a fuller capacity of your lungs? And extend your legs out long in front of you. Let's bend into the right knee, bring the sole of your right foot to left inner thigh. Hips square and your left foot remains flexed. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, forward fold. We're opening up through the right hip and lengthening our left hamstrings. If you'd like a little more fun, press the back of your left knee down into the ground. And notice the line of your spine. There's a lot of rounding. Try to smooth it out from your tailbone into the skull. With every exhale, you deepen your forward fold. And bringing your left forearm to the inner seam of your left leg with your inhale, circle the right arm up and over while keeping your right sitting bone grounded. You can look down, you can gaze forward or change the gaze and look up towards the ceiling. If you're lucky enough to be enjoying the practice outside, then gazing up towards the sky. Soften through your right shoulder and relax your face. Inhale, lift up, and with the exhale, switching out your legs. Long through right, bend into your left knee, sole of your left foot to right inner thigh. Feel sitting bones into the floor, breathe in, lift your arms up, and when you breathe out, forward fold. Remember your right foot is flexed, an option to press the back of your right knee down into the ground. With your exhalation, you deepen the forward fold and it's a rather subtle change. You bring your right forearm to the inner seam of your right leg, press your left butt cheek down into the ground and as you breathe in, sweep your left arm up and over. Find a gaze that's helpful whether you look down towards the crease in your right elbow, look forward or gazing any degree up. Soften your left shoulder. Inhale, lift high. And with the exhale, bound angle legs. Soles of the feet together, knees splay wide. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, twist to the left. Your right hand cups your left kneecap. Take your time. Inhale, lifting high. Exhale, twisting to the right. Your left hand finds your right knee. When you feel this twist begin in your low belly and revolving your rib cage. Inhale, lift up. And with the exhale, interlace your fingers if you can. Create a little basket and let that support the pinky toe sides of your feet using your elbow points anywhere along the inner leg line, whether that's calf muscles or knees, maybe inner thighs. And that will allow your hips to open. With every exhale, just as we've been working, you deepen your forward fold.
gentle reminder that with sensation scale, it's mellow, it's soft. Let's extend out through your left leg, bending into your right knee, sole of right foot to left inner thigh. Left foot is flexed, inhale, arms lift up. With the exhale, square off over your left leg and forward fold. For me, I like to press into my left hand and I can roll my left shoulder back. You want to square your chest and your ribs over the extended left leg. Option to stay as you are, deep in the bind, inching hands forward, find what's accessible. If you'd like, your left hand catches your right wrist and we use that bind to lower the right shoulder in line with our left. Press your hands into the ground, lift your chest, and then switch out your legs. Extending out through your right leg, sole of your left foot to your right inner thigh. Right foot flexed, big inhale, arms up. And with the exhale, square off over your right leg and forward fold. If right here is enough, sustain, but if you'd like the bind, your right hand catches the left fingers or left wrist. The intention there is to lower right shoulder in line with your left. Make sure that you're breathing. Inhale, lifting your torso. And with the exhale, collect your legs, feel weight in the sitting bones. Start to lean back through the torso. Option to stay right here or lifting the shins, parallel them to the floor, Navasana, boat pose. If it's appropriate, extend your legs long. We hold for five. Here's your four, keeping activity in the fingertips and all the way through the toes. Here's your three, keeping lifted on the heart, two, and one, lower the feet, and then recline all the way down to your back. Your knees are above your ankles. Drive into your heels, inhale, bridge pose, and exhale, lower down. Inhale, hip points high, exhale, hips to floor. Inhale, up, relax your glutes, poke them, give them a little squeeze, just relax your bottom, and with the exhale, lower down. Three more, inhale, up, Exhale, low. Inhale, hips up, heart up, and exhale, lower. One more time, breathing in, bend your back, and breathing out, butt to floor. Little sway of the hips, crossing your right ankle over your left thigh is option one for figure four. Option two, lift your legs and take a bind, interlace your fingers on left hamstrings. Option three is reclined double pigeon. Your right hand catches your left foot and you stack your shins, you stack your calf muscles. It's your mellow, it's your morning. So if you're feeling your hips opening, let that be enough. Let's switch it out. Bend your knees, option one, cross left ankle over right thigh. Option two, figure four bind, interlace fingers and right hamstrings. Option three, recline double pigeon, stack the shins and the calves. Make sure that you are keeping your left foot flexed, keeping your ankle and knee safe. And slow to release, no slingshot effect. Option one is your waterfall pose. Extend your legs up from the head, hips to the heels. You are a big capital L shape. Option two, take hands to the upper butt, your low back. Hoist your hips up, shimmy your shoulders underneath your chest. This is your plow pose. And option three, keep your head and neck super duper still. Extend one leg up. If it's safe, extend both legs up and you stand on your shoulders. You might explore some shape shifting, whether that's in a waterfall or in your shoulder stand. I went for eagle legs, both sides. Remember, head and neck remain still. 
And then an option for your bound angle, soles of feet together, splay your knees wide. When you lower from a shoulder stand, please use your hands and squeeze your belly. Bend into your knees, inhale, bridge pose. And sway the hips, sweep right and left, right and left. Knees wide, happy baby pose. Feet are flexed and your heels are above your knees. Knees above your hips. Press hands into thighs, thighs into hands. And then finally, hugging your knees into your heart space. With an exhale, release into your Shavasana, your final rest. Let's place the right hand on the belly, left hand to the heart. Breathe in deeply and open mouth, let it go. You can either keep your hands resting on your torso or extend your arms long into that low V. Just allow the physical body to surrender, the gaze to soften, and the belly to naturally breathe. If you're ready to bring life back into the body, start with the toes, incorporate the fingers, and feel the spaciousness between the fingers, between the toes, super intentional with your movements. Interlace your fingers, flip your hands, and take a full body stretch. Press your low back into the floor, hug knees to heart. And then with kindness, roll over to your fetal pose. Mellow as you transition upright to a comfortable seat. Soft gaze where the eyes can close. Thumbs rest at your heart space. May you move through this day with kind, compassionate action. Thumbs to your lips. May you move through this day with kind, compassionate speech. Thumbs to third eye. May you move through this day with kind, compassionate thoughts. With so much love and gratitude to each and every one of you, we close this practice with a collective bow. Namaste. Be kind to yourself and be kind to others. Thank you guys so much for practicing with me this morning. I do hope that you enjoyed the class and my hope is that you feel a little more connected to your breath, a little more connected to your own body and to your morning, a little more prepared for the day that you have ahead. If you enjoyed today's video, then please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Right now I am uploading videos every other day. If there's something specific that you would like me to focus on or incorporate in the practice or the classes, please let me know in the comments down below. And that's all that I have for you guys today. I will see you in my next video. Bye.